What's up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build series. This is the day after the super stormy, wet, rainy weekend we had and the roof did surprisingly well. It held everything out and there was no leakage coming from anywhere that I had painted over. However, there was still a little bit of water that came on dripping in. Problem area number one, of course, is the door. The door is loose. It's not even, it has no locking mechanism, nor does it have any weather stripping anymore. So I did the best I could to keep any barrier in place to keep water from coming in, but a little drips came through there. But the problem areas are some of the windows. These two windows back here in the corners did a little bit of leaking. I kind of already decided to take those windows out, period. So I should be able to remove those and cover those up with patches like I've done on some of the rest of the bodywork. Some of these windows also leaked. Now, if you look at the, at the rubber caulk around the edge of those, it's no surprise that they leaked because it's cracked and dry and somewhat brittle. Um, however, now I need to figure out how to reseal these windows. A lot of other people, what they'll do is actually take the whole window frame out clean all the old adhesive off the window frame, clean the adhesive off the bus, put new caulk along the edges, put the new, put the window back in all clean and fresh, and now they have a new weather, weatherproof seal. However, I'm having a hard time figuring out how to get my windows out. So I've been working on this window for like an hour and a half now, and I can't get it out. There's no screws through the top of the frame into the bus. There's no screws through the side. There doesn't seem to be any sort of like fastener piece of hardware that keeps this window in. It's all adhesive. And I've removed everything I can from the outside, everything I can from the inside, and this thing won't budge. I went back inside, did some more research, and I have only found one video online that has windows that even look like mine. Um, everything else is like older, just really thin, flimsy tin frames. And those are the ones where there's a screw here, here, that holds it in. Once you take those out, the whole thing just comes flopping down. I, on the other hand, don't have any screws. So what I'm finding is that it's really just all adhesive. And this other bus that they were working on, they just took it with paint scrapers, razor blades, cut through the adhesive, and they came off. So I just need to scrape deeper. So I got a hammer, I got a bigger paint scraper, so now I can really just hammer this thing in there, try to break that adhesive. Yes, I got a window out. That's huge relief, very exciting. There really isn't that much adhesive, it's just pretty strong still. So once you, what I was worried about was that I didn't know the strength or the threshold at which the window might break or the frame might bend, and I didn't want to go past that. But once I kind of, you know, got myself around where I was really actually breaking that adhesive, then yeah, once I ran a, a line of knife down that side, that window just slid right out. So I'm gonna clean that window up. I don't have adhesive or caulk to put it back in, so I hope those gray clouds don't turn into rain. Um, and we'll see about taking out a couple others. I don't want to start putting stuff back in until I have all the all the proper equipment for it and I'm ready to do all of it all at once. So, um, but that's exciting. Finally, finally got that window out. Well, great. This morning, it was sunny, clear, blue skies. <sighs> now it's about to rain and I have a two foot by three foot hole in the side of my bus. <laughs> so, I don't know, the weather says it's just supposed to be cloudy, so if it does rain, it'll sprinkle for a few minutes and it's not gonna like pour. So I'm not even gonna cover it up. I have some towels on the floor so that if some sprinkles get inside, they just get absorbed. But, you know, guess I'll wait till it's dry before putting that window back in. So here's the plan for this side of the bus. These back two windows are going to be along the edge of the bed. The bed's gonna be raised up in the back, and these back two windows are gonna be right up by where the head of the bed is gonna be. So, I'm gonna take these windows out and not put them back in. I'm gonna cover this up so that on the inside, I have something to build up, removing the windows, two things. One, adding some privacy to the bed area, 
two, giving me more buildable, workable space once I'm inside. That can either be uh, raised cabinets up in the top, a little bit more space for that, or just like little shelves along the wall where I can hang something or put my phone when I'm sleeping or have a little bookshelf for things that I want to keep or mount a little reading lamp or a light. With the windows there, that's almost impossible. There's just such a little space. With a headboard there, we have a lot more space, a lot more adjustability. So these windows are gonna come out for good. I'm gonna patch over it, just like I've done on the roof, on the front and the back with the light holes. I'm gonna patch over it with some leftover sheet metal that I took out from the inside. Um, we'll see how I get those patches made. The dimensions are gonna be a little bit tricky, but we'll get it done. First step though is taking these guys out. Time to measure those holes and cut some patches to fill those spaces. Here is the tricky part. Up there, in the top of the frame, there's a gutter that runs the whole way along. It catches all the water from the roof and shoots it out in the back and in the front. Super nice. Keeps a lot of water from flowing over the window spaces. Now, to really secure this patch exactly how I want it and to optimize your waterproofness, we need a layer underneath that gutter you know, so anything that gets over the gutter just falls onto this piece and keeps going down the, down the side of the bus, right? So creating those overlapping layers, that's gonna be key. Now, that means that I want my piece to go up underneath that gutter and have a bend in it, a right angle bend, so that I can then rivet it vertically up into the support beam that runs along the top of the bus. Let me show you. Right, so I want I want my patch to follow this and then do a right angle turn so that I can rivet it into that piece up there. Make sense? However, since I'm anchoring it into this strip too, part of it needs to go up and end at that intersection there, that white line, and the rest needs to keep going up, right? So here are my lines. So this part is gonna be anchored to the side, the yellow. Then it needs to be cut here so that this tab can continue upward. It'll continue up a tiny bit, and then the rest is gonna be bent over, and then through that, I'll rivet vertically upwards into the support that's above. Make sense? Hope so. Hope my measurements are right, because we're gonna go ahead and cut this and give it a shot and get it and see if we can bend it. Bending it is gonna be the hard part. Cut two little slices, and I'm gonna remove the little tab that's between those slices. Um, I've left, I didn't cut a right angle out of the whole top because once part of this patch goes right angle, leaving those extra tabs, they're gonna go right angle down and create a side spot that can connect to the other parts of the frame. Very confusing explanation, but you'll see it once it's all bent and put in place. So this is my first time that I get to see how this bends and see if it gets a nice clean crease. So I'm gonna use some of these grabbies and this behind those little tabs just for when I'm trying to see how this bends. So.
Check that out. Nice little right angle bend. Now is the moment of truth. Since taking a tiny end and trying to bend that cleanly is very difficult, I'm gonna clamp the small end, this tab, to the edge of these window frames, which is a nice solid right angle. And I'm gonna hold the rest of this while I try to give it a bend. So let's get this rigged up and see how it goes. I took it inside the barn to do some hammering. I used some, some rubber and some clean edges. And here's what I got. Now let's uh, see how it fits, huh? I gotta show you inside so you can see exactly what that, that funky little tab system was for. Those tabs come in. And now I can rivet them up here to that piece. Ah, looks like these ones aren't folded in the right spot. So either I'll just cut those off and get rid of them, or I'll refold them to be out sideways. I probably won't have enough room on here to rivet into the side anyways. So um, maybe I'll, um, I'll look at it. I'll look at it and see what I can get and figure that out. I have my patch, which I have folded, creased, test fitted, sanded the edges, rounded the corners so it's easy to handle. I gave it a quick coat of spray paint so it's nice, clean, bright white. It'll be painted when the rest of the bus is painted, but for now I wanted it to look at least presentable and not like some trashy piece of metal. I also have my window and door, black silicone sealant, my trusty rivet gun with some aluminum rivets, and a drill. Let's get this thing in. We got one patch in. Today we started from here and we ended up here. One window is completely sealed, ready to go. Once it's dry, this is gonna be ready for weather. Tomorrow, we'll take this one on. We'll get that one sealed up too. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow that'll go way faster than it did today because of learning curve, obviously. But. Yeah, I'm excited. This is looking good. I know it looks kind of bad right now, but once it's all painted the same color along everything, then it'll look super nice. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments what you're wondering. If you have any reactions to what I've done here, taking out windows, let me know what you think. Um, trust me, when I start living in there, that wall space is gonna be huge. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.